姑娘。Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to welcome you back to yet another edition of Millionaire Behind the Mask. I am the Millionaire Behind the Mask. I appreciate you being here, and I have a question for you: What if you had to be incredible? What if you had no choice but you had to become successful? Let me give you just a couple of examples. What if? Let's say you've been working at your job for quite a little while. You realize you're no, you're going nowhere. I mean, you're going nowhere. The people you work with are not nice, to put it in a good way, and that's putting it in a really good way. And I think some of you know what I mean. They're backbiting you. They're undercutting you. They are. Arranging situations so that you fail. What if you are in having problems financially? On top of that, let's say you're let's say you're having challenges at work. Let's say you're having challenges financially. You're you're not paying your rent. You're not able. I mean, you're paying. Let's say you're paying your rent, but it's really getting tight. You are falling behind on、um, utility bills. You've got some serious financial challenges, and you know there is going to be a day coming. A day of reckoning is coming, and you know things are going to get tough. What if your marriage is on the line because of all this? You recognize your relationship with that significant other of yours is failing. Your friends are non-existent. Your children are avoiding you even. They're just saying this guy or this lady, probably, <laughs> probably talking to the guys here. But you know, your life is just literally spiraling down. To add to this, maybe you're even overweight. Your physical body is weak. You're not sleeping well at night. There's pressure. You get the picture. <laughs> I don't want to get. I don't want to get this too. I mean, maybe only a few of the few of these things are happening to you. But what if? And what if there was really no way out, except a 100% turnaround in your life? What if your kids really needed you to be an example, so that you can pull them out of their problems? Because they're not listening to you right now. They don't want to hear your advice because they see you as someone who can't give valid advice. Because if you're trying to prescribe ideas and you're not and you're not showing a successful lifestyle yourself, you can't sell somebody on an idea when you yourself are not living it. So what if you had to become successful? What if you had to become incredible to do the things that you want to do? What if you had to become incredible to change the relationships with the people that you most love? What if you had no choice? What would you do? Well. There, I think there's two possibilities that you could do, and I'm going to just really briefly talk about the first one because it's not the one you want to pick, and that is you can just give up. But I think there's a second choice to actually become incredible. Now the question is how? How do you become incredible? How do you pull yourself out of that kind of a problem? And I'm not going to give too much advice here. Because everyone is going to be facing a different challenge at different times. But the first thing I, th- 
because I've faced challenges like this before, my friends. I think the first thing that you have to say to yourself is it's going to take some time. You've got to buy yourself some time. I don't know how you're going to do that. But you've got to buy yourself some time. You've got to figure out a way where you can take off a little bit of pressure somewhere else and use that time to reinvent yourself. You're maybe going to have to get up earlier. You're going to have to go to bed earlier. I don't know. I don't know. But you're going to have to buy yourself some time because I think the first thing that you have to realize it is is going to take you some time to do it. And this is what I did and this is what I'm doing now even. And that is I am researching everything I can possibly find about becoming successful. And actually what I've learned is it's quite simple if you want to apply it. Now the tough part in here is that I talked about many different problems that that could be cropping up. I talked about relationship, I I talked about finances, I talked about um, work, um, and I mean uh, physical health. I mean those are four huge areas of a person's life. Um, And so if you are facing things like that, which I have faced in the past, you have to break things down a little bit. And as I said, remember, you're going to have to give yourself some time. But let's break it down into piece by piece and let's start making and setting some goals. Goals for physical weight, maybe. Physical fitness. Goals for eating right. Goals for relationship. Goals for finances. Goals for work possibly even changing careers. Now let me read you something that really, really knocked me over when I read this. This is from a book, uh, Shad Helmstetter, What to Say When You you Talk to Yourself. Um, And here's the quote. He says, "I (coughs) I happened upon what I thought to be the most exceptional self-improvement idea I had ever encountered. It was a simple idea which would require only that I spend 20 minutes each night, and here, this is the key part, writing my goals, reviewing my progress, and mentally visualizing reaching each goal I was setting. And he goes on to say, it is an old idea and it works. Let me repeat that. It was a simple idea which would require only that I spend 20 minutes each night writing my goals, reviewing my progress, and mentally visualizing reaching each goal I was setting. I think that is an incredibly powerful, and by the way, um, Mr. Helmstetter, the book is not about that. I would highly recommend you read his book, by the way. But his book isn't about doing that. There's another incredible book about doing that, and it's another book I would recommend for you, Brian Tracy, and it's Goals. What a fantastic book that is, and uh, I will, uh, well, you can look it up, but I'll probably have a link in the description area for that. But two books um, that you've got to read if you are having some challenges like the ones that I was just discussing and the ones that I have had in the past. But anyway, start there. Start small, is what I would say. Start small. Now this YouTube channel is focused on finance and money. Um, So if you're having financial challenges, um, check out my video. It's not posted yet as I'm doing this video, but it's going to be coming very, very soon on building an emergency fund. 
what a great place to begin if you're having challenges with finances. And even if you're not having challenges with finances, I still think you should build yourself an emergency fund. And even if you have an emergency fund and you say, I've got an emergency fund, and it's all good, I still think you should listen to that video because it talks about not just emergency funds, it talks about building wealth. I, um, I just want to leave you with this idea. Uh, it's, it's a lot of work, first of all. It's a lot of work. And, and it will be worth it. I think Jim Rohn said it best, and I'm going to give a link to this video clip that he did, and it's proliferated around the uh, around the internet, and it may, when you click on that video, it may have been removed. But he talks about four questions to ponder, and the first question to ponder is why? Why should you work that hard? In other words, let's say you're having these challenges okay I just listed four of them let's say physical relationships uh, work career type challenges and financial why now that's a lot by the way and if you're doing them all at once that's really tough <clears throat> and I know because I said I've been there but why should you why why why, why would you want to work so hard? Why, and in his words, he said, why do so many push-ups? Why get up that early? Why read that many books? Why get a journal and journal your, you know, journal away for hours even, at days at a time, which I've done? Why journal for um, trying to sort things out in your mind? Why set goals? Why make a vision board? Why visualize every night? Why? And Jim answers the question, and I'll let you click on his, his video, but he answers the question with, why not? Why not see how far you can go? Why not see what it would be like to face those challenges that you're facing? Why not? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to leave you at that, at, with, with this at that at this point, with that kind of a teaser and a little bit of advice in there. And I'm I'm, I'm not trying to give advice, but two books you've got to read: uh, Shad Helmstetter, What to Say When You Talk to Yourself, and Brian Tracy Goals. Not hard to find those books; they're well known they're all over the place but I'm just gonna leave you with this at this point uh, my friends and uh, something to think about and all the best to you if you're in this kind of a, if you're facing these sorts of challenges my heart goes out to you because as I say I know what this is like so my heart goes out to you and I say good luck and all the best and I will say this as well You can, you can, you can overcome these challenges. You can, I know you can. If I can, you can. This is the Millionaire Behind the Mask, signing off.